Come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is? It's hump day. Woo -woo! Hello, everyone. Retro Rob here. And you know what the day is. Yes, you do. You know what the day is. It's your favorite day and my favorite day. We got another fun filled episode of Retro Robbie's Wild Wednesday Baseball Card Mystery Packs. And today I got another just one pack. This time from William in Michigan. And so this is what he says. It is an MLB uh, mystery pack, guaranteed slab, auto, game use, rookie card prospect. You're going to get 26 cards in all. He just says uh, rookies, inserts, parallels, uh, possibly one graded uh, BGS, PSA, 8 or higher. So all of his pitchers had some like 70s, 80s. So that's why I got this. So let's see if we can hold him to the test. We are all in at $28.31 on this pack. So let's see if we get our money back. Let's see if this is fun. Let's see if I don't get taken or not like I did last week. So here we go. William in Michigan. I hope my home state doesn't, you know, bring me down here. I hope he does me right. I love buying, you know, people from my home state here. So here we go. One pack. Number 17, he says. So let's hope 17 is a good luck number. And of course he uses painter's tape because he knows that's my arch nemesis is painter's tape. And oh, how do I do this without, you know, breaking the, there we go. We'll just do that. There we go. That works. Oh, oh man. He did tape this guy. <laughs> Holy cow. All you people in your painter's tape, you know how much I love painter's tape. It's one of my favorite things in all the world. All that stickiness. Uh, look at all that. Yeah. Uh, uh, why use painter's tape? There's much more easier stuff to use and still. Uh, man, look, look, look at that. Uh, just stickiness everywhere. Look at that sticking to my left hand scissors. How dare it stick to my scissors? These are my favorite left hand scissors. Come on now. So here we go. We got two packs here. You know what I got to do, right? I got to use a coin of chance. So I guess there's two packs. I'm two packs in for, uh, uh, 2831. I thought it was one, but, uh, it says two. So yeah, it is two. So we got two packs in here. Well, let's flip it. We got heads. We got tails. We got the lucky coin of chance and boom. We got heads. We're going to do that one first. So let's see what we get in these. looks like there's no slabs. So I got no slab cards. So that, that is not true, but he didn't guarantee it. So he just said there's possibility of it. Well, no slab cards. Let's see what we get there. So we're going to hold that there. That looks like our hit card right there. Uh, let's open up. Let's see if we get any 25 cards. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, let's open it up here. Uh, looks like we're going to get some 2023s there. We got the uh, 2023 tops. We got the uh, home run leaders there of Aaron Judge. Uh, Mike, or uh, Trout there, and Alvarez. So there you go. And more 2023s, uh, looks like. Uh, uh, Celebration Seattle there. So there we go. It's for your Seattle Mariners fans. And there, talk about Mariners. There's Julio by the schoolyard. Rodriguez there from the Seattle uh, Mariners there with the Ricky Cup. You got to love that. Man, it looks like we're going to get an insert card of Mike Trout there. 30-30 club. Uh, there you go, 33 Club, another 2023. That's the Tops insert. And then we got Bowman there, DL Hall from the Baltimore Oreos. Uh, more Bowman here, looks like 2023, I'm assuming. We got as Quell Tovar from the Colorado Rockies. Vinny Pascotino there from the Royals, just got his autograph. So there he is on a Bowman. Mikhail Garcia from uh, the Royals. Livian Soto from the Angels. We got Kyle Stowers from the uh, Baltimore Orioles. Jordan Diaz from the Oakland Hayes. We got Ed Guy uh, Rodrigo from uh, San Diego Padres. Nola Jones from the Colorado Rockies. Kadeus Senga from the Mets. Uh, Brett Beatty there from the Mets as well. Livier Pergora from the Pirates and Simon Woods Richardson's from the Twins. Well, no uh, vintage cards in there. That's all new stuff here. So, well, unfortunately, this is going to be modern, it looks like. But hey, you got to take what you get. We'll just see if we get our money back or not. Here comes our hit card, and boom! Very nice. We are getting uh, from SP Authentic. We're going to get 
uh, uh, Trevor Cahill uh, number plate, whatever, or letter plate there of his name. I always love these. By the letter, rookie signatures. There is a signature. So he got an autograph relic of his name. Obviously, that is the I, or it could be the L, but I'm going to assume that's the I there and Cahill. A very nice card right there. I'll show the price, as you know. So that's from 2009 SP, just before Tops took over. But very nice, 24 of 85, if you can read that right there. So we got an I card there of Trevor Cahill from the Oakland A's. That's a very nice card right there. Autographed it all on the I. You got to love that. Now here comes the second pack right here. Oh, uh, and of course, painter's tape, my arch nemesis. Urgh. Man, and it's like the thick stuff, too. Oh, I'm going to cover that up there. Uh, here we go. Looks like we're going to get more 2023 Bowman. Looks like this is going to be a modern pack from this year. What are you going to do? You just kind of look at the ads and see what you get. Oh, here we go. More Bowman here. There's just regular cards. No insert or anything like that. There's Yanguiz Fernandez from the Colorado Rockies. We got Brooks Lee from the Twins. Jet Williams from the Mets. We got Brady House from the Nationals. Yasser Mercedes from the Twins. We got Gavin Cross from the Royals. James Wood from the Nationals. And here comes 2023 tops. Travis Swaggerty from the Pittsburgh Pirates. We got Brett Beatty there again from the Mets. Uh, Vinny Pascutino there. Starting to like this guy because I got his autograph there with the Royals, with the Rookie Cup. You got to love that. Oh, Charles LeBlanc there from the Marlins. We got D.L. Hall from the uh, Oreos. Bly Medeus from the Houston Astros. Uh, we got Dermis Garcia from Oakland. Uh, we got Grayson Rodriguez there from the Baltimore Orioles. We got Cannon Smith, Najiba there from the Pirates. And Garrett Action from Oakland. So there you go. Those are that pack. And here comes the insert. Oh, here we go. Boom! We got another I here. This will be the I, uh, the letter I. This, this episode is brought to you by the letter I. We got by the letter again. SB Authentic of Scott Baker from the Minnesota Twins there. Number five of 68. Well, don't know why it's an I, because I'm trying to figure this one out here because his name is Scott Baker. There's no I, it's Scott Baker. So I'm a little confused here why there's an I. <laughs> but okay. Well, okay, here it goes. By the letter, autograph card is a part of a series that spells out Scott Baker and Minnesota Twins. So obviously it's part of the Minnesota Twins lettering. Is that the same thing here? Now, I'm just assuming that's the Cahill there. But apparently they needed more letters for Baker, so they uh, they spelled out Minnesota Twins. All right, whatever. Uh, we got I there, so that must be a replica jersey manufactured patch. Yeah, yeah that's kind of what I thought there. Is that a manufactured patch? You're receiving a trading card manufacturing patch. So they are a manufactured patch. They're not actual ones, but hey, what are you going to do? We got some autographs here. That one's from 2008 SP. The other one's from 2009. So we're getting some uh, late year SPs. So there is that right there. So you know what we got to do? We got to add all this stuff up here, as you know. And then we got to give it our thumbs rating. So stay tuned. All right. We are back with that one pack. I verified it. It is one pack's worth um, of... From William in Michigan. And if you recall, I am all in at 2831. So, uh, you know, let me talk about the highlights here. And then I'll talk how I buy feel. It's probably two different things. But uh, let's start off with the highlights here. Um, all this is ultra modern. I mean, I can go to any Target or Walmart store and pick this up. Uh, you know, get a couple packs here. And get the same thing that I got here. Yeah, they were probably all, you know... You know, I would say medium stars, a couple of decent ones. Um, they were all just modern Bowman and 2023 tops and Bowman. So I could get that right out the store. I can get that anywhere. There was nothing special about that. There was only one insert from all of this. This is just all base 
no special parallels or anything like that. It was just anything that you would give them a blaster box or a pack. There was only one insert in the whole thing of the main stuff, and that was this Mike Trout uh, tops insert there, 30 30 club. That was back at low of 250, probably of these two pack or two packs. It ended up being one pack, but they split up into two. Um, it was this Mike Trout insert card, so still a nice card to get, but still. Uh, not much. I mean, again, this was all based. No other parallels or anything like that. Nothing special there. I mean, yeah, all the cards were anywhere from, you know, a quarter to a buck a piece. So that's not bad. I mean, it could have been base or it could have been like common base. At least there were rookie cards and all that. Uh, so that's a little bit of a plus. We did get two auto hits in here. Both eyes, which is kind of funny, especially this one, but uh, this was the best of the two there. The Trevor Cahill, I remember it. I actually remember him. He actually was a decent pitcher. Uh, for the Oakland A's there, this one was number 285, so uh, that's the eye and Cahill there. It's a, it's a pretty sweet autograph there. That was back at low 10 bucks. That was kind of nice to get. You got an autograph and a relic. You got two things at once. Oh, uh, you know, you know one thing I didn't do? I forgot, you know you know what I always do, right? I gotta touch it. Oh yeah, I possess the DNA. Well, not DNA really, because it's a manufacturer match. I possess the autograph of Trevor Cahill. And the second one here is kind of, actually I learned a little about, about this, so I got my uh, little lesson here on this uh, Scott Baker card. Even though it says five of 66, they actually made over three or 1,200 of these so that, because it spells not only Scott Baker, but it spells out the Minnesota Twins. So it's how they do it for each one. So there was 65 or 68 of each letter. So that's how I get the total there. Oh, uh, a little bit less, uh, a little more common, I would say, but still a nice autograph, and I get to touch it. Ooh, yeah. I get to touch that Minnesota Twins jersey there, even though it's manufactured, but still a very nice card. You get the autograph there. It's kind of cool. Kind of like it. I always love spelling out, especially in hockey. I love the hockey ones to get spelled their last names. It's kind of fun. This one kind of deters it a little bit because it spells Minnesota Twins. <laughs> That's why... Uh, the, uh, hence the eye in there so kind of unusual so uh, you know i'm gonna give the price first before i give my thumbs rating uh, so i'll give you how i feel what i feel but i was all in at 28 dollars 31 cents back in the low for all this did end up equaling 36 dollars and five cents yeah i made seven dollars and 74 cents how do i feel about this Meh, uh, you know, I think the reason why I feel meh about this is, I think the main thing is, all this, I can get at my local Walmart, Target, Walgreens, wherever. <laughs> I can get a pack, a couple packs of this stuff and get the same thing. Uh, no, you know, uh, at least throw in some more inserts or a couple parallels in here. Just a couple, and I think this would have probably knocked it out of the park. But it was just too ultra modern for me. All the pictures he had in his eBay description had stuff from the 80s, some ch a lot of Chase stuff in there. And yeah, he, he, he said what he promised, you know. But unfortunately, all the regular cars are just ultra modern. You know, for me, that's meh. You know, I'm, I'm sure there's probably a couple names in here that are probably really worthwhile to get. But, I mean, a lot of these are ultra rookies or regular rookies. Oh, no big names in there. Aside to Mike Trout. Um, I did get some good autographs, though. So, I'm happy about that. I did make my money back. That's what I'm happy about. But, you know, it's kind of... I think that's even one of the pictures. I think that's what made me buy it. I was hoping to get something like that. I didn't get it. It could be just the luck of the draw. But you know how I'm going to rank this. I'm going to rank this from anywhere from two thumbs up, two thumbs down. I'm going to be a little more critical this time. Sometimes I'm a little bit more forgiving. But I am just wasn't overwhelmed with this as much as I would hope to get. Looking by the pictures, I could get some cool stuff. And check out his handle and look at his pictures and see if you agree or disagree with me. But I'm only going to give this one thumb up. Yeah, I mean, he still hey. promised, but... The pictures were deceiving, and I could get this stuff. Even if he gave me 22s or 21s, at least that's stuff that's not in a print run anymore. So, you know, they, they're pumping out a lot of 23s this year. So 
I'm not that thrilled about it. I wish there was some 80s in there. I know it's junk wax, but you could have gave me, there was a Roger Clemens rookie card in there, some other stuff. I love the autographs. Don't get me wrong. I do love it. I love doing letters. You know, now I want to go after the whole Cahill. <laughs> By now, I'll get it, but it's still kind of cool. It's kind of a cool chase. But I don't know. This thing didn't thrill me as much. It just, maybe I'm in a mood. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think I was too hard? You think you agree with me? Or you think I'm totally off base? Leave those comments. I love to hear from you guys what you think about this stuff. And I appreciate you watching every Wednesday night as we open up these mystery packs. Good, bad, or indifferent, or ugly. Last week was ugly. This is just, uh, I'm, I'm okay with this, you know. Will I buy it again? No. It won't be a uh, part of the best of, but it was still a fun opening. And if you recall, we hit 800. It looks like we're holding that 800 level, so we'll be doing a giveaway here later this week probably in the weekend so if you have not hit the subscription button hit that subscription button now get involved in this 800 uh, stream giveaway i give away some good stuff uh, you can probably ask a lot of my people that have won it in the past they're always happy what they get you know it's it's free i just do it out of my heart it, you know, you get free cards out of it, and all you, all I'm asking for you is to be a subscriber. So, thank you for watching. Retro Robbie saying, collect what you love.